Continuing on in section 1.5, go ahead and give number 8 a try. Here I have 32 plus a, and again, anytime we see an a, we're going to plug in a negative 18. So I'm going to go ahead and take my absolute values. Here my signs are different. 32 is positive, negative 18 is negative. When I have different signs, I subtract and find the difference. So bigger minus smaller. And then we look. Uh, 32 is our bigger absolute value. It went on top. And the sign on 32 is positive. So we have a positive 14. And go ahead and give 9 a try. Uh, there are your A and B values. Okay, first thing we have is A. So I have a negative 18. And then we have a B, which is a negative 3. So I'm going to write those there just so I can scroll here. I'm going to have negative 18 plus b, which we know is negative 3, plus 30. Uh, here we have three terms, so I'm going to go ahead and do these two at a time. I'm going to take my absolute value of negative 18 and my absolute value of negative 3. Here both my signs are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and find my sum and add, which gives me 21. Uh, to take our sign, we look back. Both of these are negative, so it's going to be negative. And then I'm going to bring down my plus 30. Now we start again. Absolute value of negative 21 is 21. Absolute value of 30 is 30. Here, though, my signs were different, positive and negative. So we go ahead and subtract and find the difference. Bigger absolute value on top. And then we look uh, to get our sign from our bigger absolute value. 30 is positive, so my answer is positive, And we get a positive 9. And that is all I have for section 1.5.